Welcome back, everyone, to this edition of Try Hard Trekking with me. I <laughs> Look, I was always Try Hard Racing, right? And then I started playing other games besides racing games. So I went by Try Hard Gaming. So I was Try Hard Racing and Gaming. Try Hard Racing, Try Hard Gaming. And on my YouTube thumbnails, you either have a, a, a car icon in the corner for racing or a controller icon in the corner for gaming, right? Racing, gaming. But then I play this game, and it's not really a racing game, but it's a driving game. So it's hard to call it gaming, but I guess it is gaming, but it's not racing, so it's try hard driving. Where I do the best I can with what I've got, which is not a lot of talent, but a whole lot of uh, um, mental confusion over what I call my space. Try hard, try hard Discord. The uh, Roll Cage TV's try hard hangout is uh, in the process of being created. By the time this episode goes up on YouTube, I will probably have my uh, reached my 100 subscriber limit. Though uh, it's unlikely that the Discord will actually be out yet because it takes a lot of work to set one of those things up. But uh, yes, that link will be published everywhere you can imagine once uh, it is ready to go live. Uh, if you try to join right now, you will uh, immediately be kicked off. <laughs> it's... <laughs> I think it's set up so that you have uh, five minutes to get a roll or something like that. Otherwise, you'll be thrown off. I don't know. Whatever the default is. So even if someone leaks the invite, uh, you you will not be. You'll be kicked from the server until you're given a roll. And you can't give yourself a roll. So, ha <laughs> ha. Anyway. Uh, uh, what was I going to do here? Yes. At the end of the last uh, last segment of the stream, I said I was going to go around and try to find all these trailers and things. And uh, I'm using the Jeep Wrangler. Do I want to keep using that? No, I want to. I want to switch to the uh, Resvani. That's a more capable vehicle and uh, with a much larger range. So uh, I am going to. But this thing made me proud. It did me proud. It sure did. That's a very good. It's, uh, if you don't want to spend the money for just the one vehicle, um, you can spend the money for, like, three vehicles, whatever whatever DLC this came in, the Jeep Wrangler. But uh, this is the Resvani Hercules. It is, you, it's like $2 for this one vehicle, some of that. And uh, then my workhorse is uh, the Zix Mastodon is the DLC pack this baby it's uh former it's based on a soviet missile carrier truck it can do it all and uh as my recovery truck for this monster's vehicle i have uh, another one of the monster's vehicles <laughs> i guess there's no better recovery truck other than for this vehicle than another one of the vehicles so uh yes these the this is also like Two, three dollars just for the one vehicle. But then you can buy them more than once. And then these are slow. So I have uh, the Brigadier, which is another paid DLC truck. Um, to do my speed running things. And uh, this can't carry hits. So I have this one to do my uh, my uh, uh, scout trailer stuff. So there you go. But I'm going to leave the garage with this thing right now. Now that I've explained all of that. And sorry about re-explaining things over and over again if you're joining the... If you've been watching the series for a long time. Um, get my all-wheel drive on because the mud tires. I will slip even on the gravel or on the pavement. Turn my lights on, but uh, let's go to the map. Figure out what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, the thing I want to do is find all of these things. So I'm just going to mark them all on the map. And uh, then figure out what order I'm going to do them on. Okay, now it's probably not the order that I'm going to do these things in. Um, so let's first of all come down here and find this one. Can I delete that? Yes. 
so first of all, we'll find this one. Uh, whoops, let's, let's, oh, no, I keep hitting the wrong button. Oh, no, I'm trying to zoom in. I keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, uh, delete some of these things. Uh, you delete one by clicking the same button used to add one, but then sometimes it doesn't work right. And you end up with stuff like this. You get this whole cluster and you can't delete them all. Okay, here, there we go. Now, now I'm zoomed in. I got myself zoomed in. Hold the trigger, pick it up, pick it up, move it here. There you go. Okay, great. Now, what's the next one I'm going to get to? Uh, probably that one. So, is that the next one I'm going to get to? Yeah, well, more likely than any other one. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's do these as the crow fly and the flies. Easier, okay. And wait a minute. That's only that's only two of them. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go down here and get this one, and then from there I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> oh, never try to organize. Let's also don't drive at night. Drive during the day. Plan your work and work your plan. That's what I'm told you're supposed to do. <laughs> I'm not very good at planning and uh, I'm not very good at working. So between the two, that kind of advice does me no good. The best advice I could get is uh, call this number and have they'll do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> you need to plan your work go to this website they'll do it for you need to work your plan call this number they'll, they'll work your plan you can't find your plan go back to this website <laughs> you can't find the password you had for that website in my world, basically. <laughs> uh, passwords. Passwords, am I right? Oh, I just, I just heard, I just saw a video yesterday. Apparently, there's this game that's like a casual PC game, or it's a, it's a web game, maybe? Online game? This guy has a website. That's all these bizarre... Games like Spend Bill Gates Money is one of his games. Uh, and uh, one of the games he has is um, the password game. And uh, what he tells you to do is create a password. Yeah, stops like, come on, you gotta be finding this by now. Um, and then you go to put in a password and he gives you a rule that, oh, sorry, this password has to contain, you know, at least one number, something like that. And you do that, and then another boss comes up and says, sorry, the val password isn't valid. We have to include, you know, one capital letter. What? And then it's, it just, the rules get more and more ridiculous. The password has to include the current time, and the path, password has to include uh, chemical element symbols that add up to an atomic weight of exactly 200, or atomic number is actually 200. I mean, that's one of the rules. It's, it's so ridiculous, it takes like an hour and you know he's got ends up with these like 35 totally bizarre rules to eventually get a valid password obviously making fun of you know, your password has to contain this captcha and uh and then it has to contain the hexadecimal number for this particular color and <laughs> here's here's a um geo um Geo guesser picture. What yeah, your password has to contain the name of the country that this picture is in. <laughs> okay, closest one is there. Yes, here. So I'm gonna go to that one. 
and then I'm gonna go to that one and then I'm gonna go to uh, that one okay so that's the order I'm gonna do these in and uh, if I wanted to have fun I would do this all off-road but actually I think it makes more sense to just uh, do these in the uh, the, le the unfun way <laughs> the easy mode way that's why I'm gonna do these in the easy mode I'm all about the easy mode this series is uh, dedicated to all those that need a little help <laughs> like me I play it with the um, playing with uh, oh that trailer yeah so let me get there first I'm playing with DLC OP DLC paid DLC vehicles not the season vehicles but the ones that you can get right from the start of the game and uh, I also um, grinded out some uh, uh, levels for myself. I didn't boost myself with levels. I didn't do a new game plus to get levels, but but it is a hundred percent complete play playthrough. That's the intention. All by the time I finish 19 regions, so that's gonna take a while. And uh, first time I played the game. It took me uh, about 200 hours to get through the first location, so I was not going to try to do a, a online streamed slash upload to the YouTube playthrough where it takes me 200 hours to get through the first region because it would have been uh, nine months or something until I finally got through the first region. So that's why I'm doing it with all the DLC stuff I can. Anything to make it easier on myself. Quicker. But it is 100%. I'm going to get... I've already scouted 100% of the map by using the uh, exploration unit, as you can see. Um, I'm going to find all the trailers. I'm going to collect all the upgrades, even ones I know I'll never need. I'm going to do all the tasks. I'm going to do all the contracts. I'm going to do all the contests at least once. I'm going to try to uh, gold all the contests. Uh, I know I can do that for all the ones in Michigan. I don't know how, how difficult they get, but if it requires a lot of skill, it, it may not happen. But if it just requires grinding, then uh, it will happen. And uh, I expect the series to run for at least a year, I would imagine. We'll see how long it takes me to get through some of the early seasons, but I've been watching somebody wessel on wheels, and uh, he has a series started a little less than two years ago, a year and a half ago. Uh, he calls it A Day A Day, which is especially cool because he has an Australian accent, so it's like A Day A Day, Good Day, Good Day, Good Day A Day A Day. Uh, I almost went into a Canadian accent. Australian dialect. If you're in Australia and you speak with an Australian, you speak like an Australian in Australia, then you're not speaking with an accent. You're speaking English with an Australian dialect, right? What happens, though, if you move to another country and I thought that was the place I was crashing through the fence. If you move to a different country, say you say you move to Great Britain, or the UK, whether you're in Great Britain or Northern Ireland, or one of the other islands, um, if you move to the UK, and you still speak with the same Australian dialect of English, are you then speaking with an Australian accent? Or are you still speaking with an Australian dialect? Because it's the same base language, English, but it's a different dialect of English. But if you're uh, if you're from France and you move to England and you speak 
English, you're probably going to speak it with a French accent. So is it how long do you have to live in a different English speaking country for your dialect to become an accent? That's the question. Put your put your answers down below in the form of a question. No, I'll, I'll start a poll. <laughs> Once my Discord goes live, I'll start a poll on my Discord. Actually, I can do a poll on my YouTube, on my YouTube community page. Um, I've lost track of where I'm going. On my YouTube community page, I'll have to start a poll. How long does it take? Oh, wait, that's the trailer right there. Okay. Well, that's easy to find. How long does it take for you to live in another English-speaking country for you to be speaking English and still maintaining the same sound of the language from your homeland? You know, I can't make a poll unless I can describe this in words. <laughs> How long, how long does it take for a, for a dialect to become an accent if you've moved to a different country and you still speak the same way that you used to? If they're both still English-speaking countries? At what point do you say, dude, you lived here long enough, you'd be speaking like the rest of us. So you're no longer just speaking with a dialect, you're speaking with an accent. There we go. I mean, I, I was not born in Minnesota, and I speak like a Minnesotan. I don't speak with the, the dialect that I have. Of course, English speakers, they say... In America, we say accent all the time when it's not appropriate. It's really a dialect, it's not an accent. If you live in Texas and you speak English, you don't speak English with a Texas accent. You're not speaking with any accent. That's how everyone around you has always spoken the language, right? It's not an accent. It's just your dialect, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I care about these things? I have no idea. You know, this would probably be easier if I just uh, recovered back to. Would this be easier if I just recovered back to the garage? Um, yeah, probably would be, but I'm not. I'm going to go through town and go through the swamp. Because that's the fun way. Although I am committed to doing the easy thing. And it's really a fun thing with the easy thing. But, uh, <laughs> Easy is fun. And that trailer I've already found, apparently. Because there's only one... Oh, that's a task. I probably picked that up already. Uh, let's see. Stuck trailer. Stuck trailer, that one I've picked up already. I gotta keep watching out for tasks I haven't gotten yet. That's gonna take a bit of work to uh, go through the whole list of tasks that are on the map and see if I if they're actually on my task list yet. This is a lot easier to do this. After this, I'm gonna have to do some deliveries because I've been in this. I've been doing scout tasks for too long. I gotta start doing some delivery tasks. Variety and all. Oh, I was looking to say, do I need to build a bridge here? Nope, nope, there's no bridge to be built there. You just go across the water. Just suck it up. Go across the water. Uh, in here, and, uh, I, I don't know, like here, I guess. Something like that. Okay, let's go get it. Uh, let's go get it by turning around and going in the right direction. Oh, oh, sorry about the fence. Sorry. 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 <laughs> All my, uh... Ace, ace trucking. They'll fix it for you. Don't worry. I'm with the county. I'm with the county. You'll uh, 
We'll, we'll fix it. <laughs> you can't sue the county. Oh, but you can sue everyone on the county. There was some something I read where somebody was they got completely ripped off, and the water commission or something said, "Well, you can't sue us because you can't sue City Hall." So it's no, that's not true. I could sue you. <laughs> I can always sue you. <laughs> Maybe I can't sue the city, but I can sue you. I can't sue the U.S. government, but I can sue the president. So, <laughs> you're not immune, Mr. Thinks You Know Everything. I could put it in low, but I'm not going to I could winch, but I'm not going to This thing can get through anything. Pretty much. I'm trying to remember, have I ever flipped this thing? I don't think I ever have. I know I flipped one of those Mastodons once, because I was looking away at Chad or something and drove halfway off a cliff. I was looking away at something. I don't think I was streaming at time. I looked away and drove the left side, the entire left side of my vehicle, I drove off uh, the edge of uh, something. This is not faster than it would have been to go back to the garage, I think. Sure, I could be doing this faster if I. I don't have the high-speed gearbox. I could, and I don't have the snow. See, the snowrunner gearbox. I could then put it in low high, the low plus, which would let me go faster. And if I had the high-speed gearbox, I could just put it in high, and that would uh, let me go faster. But uh, here, basically. This is as fast as I'm going to do, right? If I go here. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't want the SnowRunner gearbox on this because it reduces the range. And uh, it's just not worth it to me. It, it reduces the speed and it reduces the range. But that does mean I need to... Uh, I, I don't have a high gear at all or a low plus gear. That le would let me keep up, keep up uh, constant revs, revolutions, or whatever it is. Oh, you know what? Sometimes, yeah. See, that's a cheat. You take it in and out of all-wheel drive, it'll retort the the tires in an unrealistic way, and. Uh, It'll help get you unstuck. Wiggling the wiggling the the wheels, front wheels back and forth, switching it in and out of all-wheel drive. These are little gamer tips on how to cheat the system. They say that this is a custom physics engine, but it's got to be based on something. I can't believe that. Uh, a small, at the time, small time indie developer like Saber could have, from scratch, written their own physics engine. I'm guessing it's like a modified Unreal Engine or something like that. They do have an engine team in the credits, but uh, that could just be could just be, you know, for integration, but also in the credits, I don't see any mention of Unreal or any other physics engine that I recognize, so. Commercial, independent physics engine. So, I don't know, maybe they're just geniuses, and they developed a, a tremendous uh, physics engine with rope deformation and all that stuff, completely from scratch. 
I don't know how long it took to spin the original spin tires to be developed. But it was an independent game, passion project kind of thing. Uh, until they were bought out and was commercialized in, uh, into Mud Runners. Don't use me as a source for the history of Snowrunner, by the way. Go, go, to, go to Wikipedia. It'll probably give you a more accurate <laughs> version of events. <laughs> or go to, uh, you know, Focus. What is it? Focus something? Focus Interact? I don't know. Focus! The people that publish the game. Go to them. Go to their Discord. There's a Snowrunner Discord. You can get links to uh, whenever there's an update to the game. There's, a, there's they have a forum on the Focus website. I don't, I don't use the forum. I haven't. I mean, I guess I get set up. You have to set up like a profile for the forum. You don't have to read it, but I mean to participate. But um, I mean, I've the the Discord, their Discord, Snowrunner. Official Snowrunner Discord. I have no idea how I found the link to the official Snowrunner Discord. Probably just Google it. Anyway, I knew, uh, as of the day I'm recording this, uh, the, yesterday or the day before, there was a new release. And uh, it's the second update. The first update after the Season 12 release. So Season 12 fixed a lot of... The Season 12 update fixed a lot of uh, Xbox instability issues. And this update uh, featured more uh, fixes for that. So, uh... uh um... I playing on Xbox. I've not had any problems with stability. But I'm playing on a... Uh, OG old generation uh, Xbox One X. It's hard to think of it as OG. I'm ten times as old as the Xbox One is. Um, yeah, it's um, I'm playing on Xbox One X. So yeah, I probably should. And out of four wheel drive. Uh. All right. And uh, the Mastodon can get through there without even blinking, but it's. It's always slow. You can't tell that the Mastodon. The Mastodon doesn't slow down going through the mud. Because it doesn't slow down for anything. But it's hard to tell, even if it did slow down, it's so slow in best conditions. It would make for an interesting race. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do during my break. Hold on a second. Okay, my audio should sound a little bit better now. I um, did not refresh my party chat, which is something that um, helps keep uh, the voice from warbling in and out. But not just not just the voice, the entire game sounds start to warble. It's a bug in the Xbox Twitch app, or the Xbox Twitch app shell. But uh, the workaround is to start a party chat, and that fixes it. For months and months and months, I had problems with my my uh, streams, audio, the sounds being warbling, and it was driving me crazy and crazy and crazy. And finally, I discovered a workaround. Somebody, somebody on. 
on Twitch. Um, post a link to an article on Reddit where someone discovered a workaround to start a party chat. Problem is, the party expires after like an hour and a half, two hours or something. So when I take a break, I try to refresh it. And uh, I did I did not do that. I don't know why the party expires. They figure if you're just sitting there alone talking to yourself and no one else is talking to you for two hours, you, you need to go outside. <laughs> <clears throat> so the party's over. All right, let's, uh, we got all that done. Let's, uh, let's find a lot of really good motel woes. That's a delivery one, but that's a pretty simple one. Oh, you know what? Let's do, um, uh, a contract. I've got contracts I can do. Wet harvest. That's, um, a pretty interesting one. And uh, you need that, I think, for... No, you need to do Out with the Old. Out with the Old is kind of a big... Is that up here? Yes, to do Out with the Old, you need to do Pipe Dream. And then that unlocks a bunch of stuff with Husky Forwarding. So Pipe... 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 <sighs> pipe Dream is kind of a log jam. So let me actually start doing that. That will unlock a lot of contracts once I get that done. So I need bricks, metal beams. Um, so I need four slots there. And then I need uh, a, um, a heavy a high saddle to get the fuel trailer. So that will be uh, two... two uh, Two of my Mastodon trucks. I will pull them both out. Uh, this one... I've got the... Um, I've got the bed on this, right? Yes, the bed and the crane, just in case. Okay. So that one can go out like it is. And then this one, I will put the high saddle on. Huh. I also have the bed on here. I don't know why I put the bed on here. Um, so this one I will put on the, um, high saddle, saddle high, free, I'll take it, the price is right, so I will take it, um, it's the fuel trailer, I might have to take off the crane for that, because the fuel trailer has a long extension to it, so I'll take off the crane. So, I'm not sure. It might be worth checking, but I'm not sure. But just to be safe, I'll take off the crane. Okay, so this one is for the trailer. And uh, that's supposedly what I'm supposed to do first, right? Um, let's go look at the task here. Pipe dream. Okay. And where do I get the metal beams? The bricks are here. Are they on a trailer somewhere? It doesn't matter. I have to take them to the factory. So, um, does it? No, it doesn't go through. I was hoping it would toggle. I know there's like bricks here, bricks there. Flat bed. Flat bed. Those aren't bricks anywhere. Metal beams are here. Okay. Um, any place I can get metal beams? Can I get metal beams at the warehouse? That's be easy mode, though. I think I can get metal beams at the warehouse. Yes, I can get metal beams and bricks at the warehouse. Okay. So, all I have to do is take uh, one truck. With Oh, in fact, there was a trailer there, but it's not there anymore. I already used it. So, I can pick up a short trailer. Uh, yeah, so I'll do that. So, wait, what's on this trailer? 
Oh, that has metal beams. Oh, it's a flat, flatbed trailer with metal beams. It's not a sideboard trailer, but I can use it, throw bricks on it then, right? Uh, oh no, I mean the bed. Yeah, I can take that and then the bed and put the bricks. Okay, so I got a plan. This one goes to get the, uh, the fuel trailer. And then um, the other one will come out, and I'll bring it out of the garage now. Uh, we'll pick up the... I'm, I'm wasting fuel here. Turn that other engine off. Get this trailer set up first. Uh, oh, it was off. It was off? Did I stop the engine? Or did it just stop when I went to the garage? Interesting. Well. Regardless, grab the metal beams, go get the bricks. You know, the metal beams here might be more convenient for something. Yeah, I can always, if I need metal beams, I can get metal beams. I can get metal beams in town. So might as well grab these and then I can sell the trailer and there'll be one more thing. One more piece of clutter out of my way. I will stop this engine. And that will go get the bricks. And before I do that, I will uh, go in here and go get the fuel trailer, which is up here. And I will reorient the map so everybody can see the direction I'm going. Uh, that's north of the garage and then it's take it to the factory and oh that's just such a long trip but we could have one tow the other but they're really going to end up they're actually going in different directions so so anyway to the factory we go to the factory we go I want to tow that trailer back somewhere to sell it Try to clean them up after myself. Maybe on the way back. Yeah, there's no really good with the big truck. There's no really good shortcuts. Don't go there at all. We can we can go into cab view and and try to drive from one side of the <laughs> from only one side of the truck. Because if you notice, this truck, it has two cabs. <laughs> you drive on the left cab or the right cab? <laughs> old, based on an old Soviet missile carrier. All right. Is it possible I can get this whole job done in, in 15 minutes? It's possible. Is it likely? No. It's possible. I thought that was the way I was going, but I went out the wrong gate. This truck, if you're not familiar with it, it can pretty much do anything. It is the high saddle I got, right? I didn't even pick the wrong saddle. Yeah, I think that's the, I think the high saddle is farther back on the truck, so I think that's it. If I get over there, it's not Now, one thing about 
hard mode is because fuel is so important this is not a job that somebody would be doing early on oh i heard another dingle in my ear i gotta check that um oh i got another follower thank you uh Akium walt i appreciate the follow if uh, you came across on the raid and uh, we're, we're uh, um, lurking a bit, I appreciate it. Thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, I haven't checked my YouTube subscribers. I might be over 100 now. I got a big raid from Spider Gray. Picked up quite a few Twitch followers from it. At Discord is... Uh, well, setting it up is going to be the death of me, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting to have a, a two-way communication community. Right now, if I want to talk to my audience, I use my um, community page on my, um, my community page on my YouTube uh, uh, channel. And if I want... And if you want to get a hold of me, the best way of reaching me is through Twitch. So, it's kind of, you know, YouTube for me to talk to you, Twitch for you to talk to me, and then that way, um, we, we can get some cross-pollination going, but, yes, having, oh, yeah, I could have easily kept the crane on there. Yeah, this thing is a lot longer than I was even thinking. And that doesn't stick out as far as I thought. Maybe because it's the heavy fuel trailer? It's the light semi-fuel trailer that sticks out farther? I don't know. Well, I didn't need to take the crane off. Pretty clearly. Uh-oh, I think I'm going to catch that guy well. Oh, I'm fine. Now we got the long guard. Oh yeah, I was going to try to do this in cab view for as long as I could. Uh, <laughs> this is so difficult to do in cab view. Although, uh, some people have complained about the livery on this truck. The, the pink splatter. Accused me even of uh, like being a Barbie fan. But... Suggesting it looks more like Pepto Bismol if uh, your stomach's upset, you take Pepto Bismol and it doesn't work, and uh, you end up uh, you you end up doing what happens when your stomach is not settled. Uh, this is what it looks like. <laughs> I'm gonna sell that to. Oh, that's the other thing I'm gonna do. 100% means not just finding everything, but when I'm all said and done, all the trailers will be sold, all the vehicles I don't need will be sold, all the upgrades I don't need will be sold. Oh, that's something else. I didn't, I wasn't thinking about that. Sometimes when you get an upgrade, you can't sell it if you've already sold the vehicle. If there's only one vehicle the upgrade is good for, and you've already sold the vehicle, you'll own the upgrade, but you won't be able to sell it unless you have a vehicle to put it on and to, or to sell it from. You know what I'm saying? There's no way to sell... There's no... You don't have an inventory of parts you have just free from parts you have for a vehicle. So if I have, like, that Scout 800, if it takes a special suspension, then I get an upgrade for... Once I sell the Scout 800, or if I find that special suspension, I can't sell it unless I buy a, a scout back, which I'm not going to do, so I won't be optimizing my money then. Is this another trailer that's, oh, I gotta get, I gotta start cleaning up after myself, this is going to drive me crazy, all these used trailers, but yes, I was saying, by the time I finish a map, I also want to take all the loose trailers that are out on the map and uh, bring them back and sell them. One is, not to have them cluttering up the map, either in terms of making it harder to drive or in terms of just having extra entities on the map for unnecessary. What am I keep hitting? Ooh, my suspension is terrible. Yeah, 
this this is the one you can't see. Um, Uh-oh, I'm stuck on something. All right, I knew this was a bad idea. What, what am I stuck on? Am I stuck? Did I just have a break on? No, I'm, I'm definitely stuck on something. Ugh, what did I get? How did I get? Got a rock? Uh, how, how, how am I stuck? Where, where am I? It's always something with this game. I am stuck. Oh no! I see what I'm stuck on. Oh, it's one of those. I picked up. Can you see right there behind my last few wheels? I picked up one of those um, barricades. Got stuck on my wheels. One of the. Uh, oh, what are they called? Roadblock thing signs. And the physics are weird. And uh, sometimes they become completely solid. And uh, I, I'm not going to be able to get away from this thing, likely. I might have to just recover. So then the thing will go away. Well, that stinks. Yeah, it's basically pinned me to the ground. It's now... The physics of the game say, nope, we are here permanently. You cannot destroy us. Yeah, okay, you can see it. It's wrapped around my wheel, but it's permanently planted in the ground now. You can see it now here. <sighs> I'm not even going to be able to tell myself out. Well, let's, let's, at least I will try to winch myself or something, but I'm no, pretty sure that's not going to work. Yeah, no, see, I'm completely stuck. That thing is immovable now. It's become an immovable object. Oh, wait, maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, I'm free. And now it's going to probably block the uh there's actually a sneaky way of doing this I don't know how far away I have to go but if I leave the area I can get the map to reset this might be far enough Stop engine. Now, switch to the other truck. Actually, maybe the thing to do is... Um, have I gone to... Um, no. Okay. This is a cheesy way of resetting the map, but I'll do this. Rather than exiting the game and coming all the way back in. Because that thing's going to be in my way forever. This will force the map to reload. And as long as I don't have, have a truck active close to it. And it still might not work. I may not be far enough away. 
Um, I don't want to go to the garage. I just want to go to this thing. Uh, let's go to this one first. Yes, the engine is not perfect. <laughs> I at least want to get this first part done before uh, I take a break. Go to a new YouTube episode. Do I still? Yes, I do still have wonderful, cold, delicious coffee. Okay, let's see if this worked. Um... It worked! Yay! All right. Okay, enough of going into first person mode. Line that up terribly. Whoa, 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 other button. Uh go this way. Now go back this way. Yeah, should be close enough. Alright. Look at that. Get back on the road. Let's go. The game, they have fixed... Oh boy, when the game first came out, there were so many weird physics bugs. But you could understand if they actually did write, write the physics engine from scratch. Even if it's modified somebody else's engine. Um, and there are still a bunch of them, but uh, they they fixed a lot. Early on, they had an update, and they broke it so that flatbed trailers, if you unpack cargo on the back of a, a flatbed add-on or trailer, the cargo would just fall through it. Oh, I was saying back earlier in the stream about Wessel. Wessel on Wheels and his uh, A Day A Day playthrough. I've been watching that on YouTube. It's been very entertaining. It's very relaxing. It's got a nice calm voice and he goes through it's It's... He streams it on YouTube but not in front of an audience. Uh, he plays on a PlayStation, so fellow console player. Rock on, brother. And, um, so you get to see him play through the entire day, but, of uh, 24 hours, one day in-game is equal to one hour in real life. So, for an hour, every day, at least at the start of the season, I don't know, he's been doing it for over a year, year and a half. Um, and I'm, I'm not very far along in the series, but he's got over 500 and some episodes. And uh, he's gone through everything except for the season 12. He's he's uh, getting work done in his house, he said, and so he's had to take some time off. But his plan is to continue, keep going through year four, and, you know, all uh, eventually 19 regions, playing in hard mode. And so economy means a lot. So... Uh, this is not a task you would do early on because he would be using this fuel rather than just dropping off the fuel trailer. Yeah, it's fun. Each episode is around an hour. He starts at uh, 8 a.m. on the, the clock, the in-game clock, and uh, then he runs through 8 a.m. In hard mode, you can't reset the advanced time, so he runs from 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. Oh, however many tasks he gets done, that amount of time. So, uh, and you get to, you get to see everything he does because it's all on stream. I don't think he's done any uh, since I've seen. He hasn't done anything off stream. The only thing I've ever done off stream in this playthrough is uh, between the first and second stream, I um, did like five or six hours of the food delivery task to build up uh, XP 
I wasn't going to subject people to that. The alternative was to just go do a new game plus and give myself those levels. Um, which I wanted to have like a quote unquote pure game. Or to just suffer through, even though I have the DLC trucks and most of them would have good capabilities, still would be slow me down an awful lot and I want to try to get through Michigan and by the time you get through Michigan you're going to have 400 levels or I'm sorry you're going to have 20 levels when you get through Michigan so basically what I did is I leveled myself up to where I would have been uh, had I gotten through Michigan that way Michigan I started the same level in Michigan as I would start in off technology I would start in any other location which, when there's only three locations, um, uh, yes. When there when there's only three locations, you know, it's having that progression through the technology tree is pretty cool. Um, oh, I don't have the right one selected. It changed when we went to maps. Like, wait. Am I supposed to deliver the curtain side trailer here? That's not right. Uh, no, it, it's not right. I had the wrong. When I changed maps and came back, uh, it activated the wrong thing. Okay, and it recorded it, but it doesn't actually delete the trailer. I don't know if that's a bug or it just gives you the opportunity to do it. Once I get the other stuff delivered, it'll delete the trailer. And I actually back this up into some place makes sense. Well, it'll make sense, but it'll still be in the way. Uh, good enough. Okay, now this baby, I refueled it, but I didn't need to, because uh, I'm about to uh, just recover it. Well, you know what? I'm not going to recover it. I'm going to stop the end here, just in case the other, other vehicle needs help near this area of the map. I will just leave this here. Uh, I have to move it out of the way? Nah, not gonna Let's go to the other vehicle. And uh, my phone is telling me I need to plug it in, which I, I have the plug here, because I knew that was going to happen. So uh, if I keep chatting my way through it, no one will even know that uh, I've stopped to uh, plug it in. So there, now, you'll never know. All right, but that is, uh, we are up to about 50 minutes or so for this segment of the stream and uh, YouTube episode. So I am going to end the YouTube episode here. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm going to take a quick couple minute break and be right back. Throw up the VOB screen if you're watching on YouTube. That's going to be it for this episode. Next episode will be out on the next weekday, Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Uh, Minnesota time, Minneapolis, Twin City, Minneapolis, St. Paul, CST, Iowa time. That's the easiest thing to type in. Type in noon in Iowa, and it'll give you the time in the in the in your local time zone. Anyway, that's when they come out on YouTube. Twitch streaming on Sundays, starting at 12:30 p.m. U.S. Central Time for five and a half hours or so. Anyway, Twitch stick around. YouTube next episode. Either way, I will see you then.